This lynx would appear in the dark every day, quietly ran to the door of a house, and screamed loudly at the baby inside, and the sound was frightening. Even if people drive it away many times, the lynx still does not leave the house. What is going on in the house? Why do lynxes keep dying? The truth actually caused everyone to burst into tears. Patrick is a forest ranger, living in the deep forest in the north, where the weather is cold, few people would choose to live here. Patrick also lived in a bustling city, but his love for nature drove him here to become a forest ranger. Although always alone, Patrick has never felt lonely, he enjoys the pace of life alone, and at the same time, the daily contact with nature makes him feel very fulfilled. Being a forest ranger is Patrick's favorite job in his life. He wakes up at dawn every day and begins to patrol the forest to ensure that the plants and animals are safe from outsiders. Patrick is not a simple patrol, he pays great attention to the various plants he passes by, and if he encounters rare animals, he will also record their morphological characteristics and living habits. It can be said that the work of a caregiver has helped Patrick get closer to nature. So far, Patrick has lived here for 10 years. He knows the animals and plants that appear in nature very well. And this job does not make him tired at all. On the contrary, he loves this forest more and more every day. The winter in the north is cold and long. On a morning before dawn, Patrick got up as usual to prepare for inspection. He took his tool bag and notebook and set off. It seemed that there was a snowfall last night, and there was still white snow on the ground that hadn't melted. Patrick felt extremely cold, but he didn't dare to relax his vigilance and patrolled the forest carefully. In the silence, a strange, faint sound caught Patrick's attention. He heard a hoarse growl, which turned into a low cry after a while. It must be an animal in trouble. Thinking of this, Patrick followed the sound to find the source of the crying sound. Finally, Patrick found that a lynx was trapped in the trap set by the hunter. Its front paws were firmly clamped in the trap, and its body was covered with snowflakes. It seemed that it had been trapped in place for more than it's been a day. Patrick wanted to help the lynx out of trouble immediately, but the lynx was a wild animal. And he was not sure enough whether the lynx would agree to his help. So he slowly approached the lynx, but still kept a safe distance from it. Patrick tried to reach out and stroke its fur. He didn't know whether it was because the lynx was exhausted or because it didn't feel the man in front of him. Frightened, the lynx didn't show any hostility, it acquiesced to Patrick's touch. Patrick seemed to see a glimmer of hope, so he moved closer to the lynx. He stroked the lynx gently, hoping to relax its vigilance. Then he took the pliers out of the tool bag and placed them on the trap as gently as possible, hoping that the lynx would understand his intentions. The lynx was a little scared when it saw the pliers at first, thinking that Patrick would hurt it. But it soon realized that the man in front of him was here to help him. Patrick tried to pry open the trap with the pliers, and he operated carefully, trying not to touch the lynx's paw. After more than 10 minutes of hard work, Patrick successfully opened the trap, and the lynx regained its freedom. But the lynx didn't leave immediately, maybe the trap made its claws lose strength, and it took a while to recover. Patrick knew it hadn't eaten for a long time, and it was even more difficult to find food after a snowfall. So he took out a few pieces of meat from his bag and put them in front of the lynx. The lynx looked at Patrick tentatively, while the man looked at it with a smile. Finally, it couldn't bear the hunger and ate the food hungrily. After that, the lynx ran into the forest and disappeared. And Patrick continued his patrol work. Another two years later, Patrick met the most important woman in his life and married her. His wife supported Patrick's work as a forest ranger and sometimes accompanied him on inspections. With his lover's company, Patrick felt life is filled with more love. 
A year later, their child was born, a lovely daughter. From then on, in this once very deserted family, laughter often spread. Sometimes it was Patrick and his wife teasing their daughter's laughter, sometimes it was the daughter's giggling, happiness filled everyone's face. Patrick would think of his daughter's smiling face every time he made his inspection, and the man gradually became more tender. At night, the daughter slept in her nursery, and the first few months of her life were uneventful until one night something strange happened. That night, when everyone was immersed in sleep, a loud cry came from outside the daughter's window, waking Patrick and his wife up. They didn't pay special attention at first, because the house was close to the forest, and it was inevitable that animals would come out. But the cry continued, and even turned into a howl. Patrick opened the window and yelled out, hoping to get the nasty animal away. Fortunately, the screaming did not continue. After the wife went to the daughter's room to check, everything was normal. The daughter was sleeping soundly. So the two continued to lie down and sleep. Things didn't calm down, and on the second night, the strange cry sounded again, still coming from outside the daughter's room. The calls became more urgent and the roars were deafening. Finally, the couple couldn't bear the frightening sound. They went to their daughter's room to see what kind of animal had been guarding the daughter's door. Patrick went to his daughter's window and looked out. To his shock, a lynx was squatting outside the window, staring sharply at his daughter's direction. Patrick felt familiar after seeing the lynx. So he looked carefully again. Glancing at this lynx, memories of the past instantly appeared in his mind. This is the lynx he rescued in the forest a few years ago. Why does it appear in front of your own home? What is the continuous barking to remind? Lynx also saw the former savior. He no longer roared vigorously, but made a low voice. Patrick was full of doubts in his heart, so he looked around, but he didn't expect that what he was about to see almost knocked him out. Just beside the daughter's crib, that is, on a railing near the window. There is a snake hovering. The glowing green eyes were terrifying in the dark, and Parkrick took the courage to pick up a stick and drive it away. The snake quickly slipped out the window when it saw someone attacking. Patrick and his wife were still surrounded by fear. But Patrick finally understood why the lynx kept screaming. It was confronting the snake. Maybe it saw the snake getting into his daughter's house, in order to protect the children of the savior, it can only keep roaring and threatening the snake. After learning the truth, both Patrick and his wife shed tears. If it weren't for the protection of the lynx, their daughter might have been in danger. Patrick wanted to go out and thank the lynx, but it was gone. Although wild animals live in the wild and have not been tamed by humans, they also have the ability to perceive love and know how to be grateful, and they can even save human lives in times of crisis. Thanks to those sincere and brave animals who have added more true feelings and warmth to this world.